In this exercise, we're being asked to convert the equation r equals 5 sine theta from cylindrical form, because it has r's and thetas in it, into rectangular form. So when we're done, we want it to have x's, y's, and z's instead of r's and thetas and, and that sort of thing. Obviously, there's a lot of different examples I could have done, but I picked this one on purpose because this is a very popular exercise and it's got a little trick to it. So, so let, let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we have r equals five sine theta, um, you've probably got the idea if you've been watching our last few videos of, of what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to take one of our old conversions that we've already derived and use it to turn it from r's and thetas into x's and y's and, and z's and, and that sort of thing. Now, when you look through your list here, though, not much jumps out at you. Uh, for, for example, um, like here's an R. Well, in our list, I don't have just an R. I have an R squared, but that, that doesn't really, you know, really help us too much. This is R squared, not R. Um, here I've got a sine theta, but over here on this side, the, the only thing that I see that, that remotely has a sine is number two but that doesn't help tremendously because it has to be r sine theta to convert to y not just a sine theta so so what do we do well here here's a little trick and, and if you want to pause the video and think about it you're welcome to do that but i'm just going to give it away right here um, this right hand side would really benefit from having an r added in there so that we could get an r sine theta so i'm going to multiply the right hand side by r and to keep the equation balanced, I'm also gonna multiply the left-hand side by r because that, that's allowed as long as you do it equally to both sides. And it turns out that's a win-win situation. Uh, here's why. The left-hand side turns out to be r squared, which is very nice because that's, uh, that looks a lot like number five. And then the right-hand side turns out to be five times r sine theta which would convert easily into a y. And so now we're practically done. So the r squared will convert that from cylindrical form to rectangular form by calling it not r squared, but, but by calling it x squared plus y squared. And the right hand side, the r sine theta can be converted to a y. So I have equals five y. So you needed that extra factor of r in there to make it look like some of the conversions you know, that, that we had handy. Um, the, I said this in an earlier video, but I'll say it again. When you're converting equations, the thing to remember, and this is what my students often struggle with, and it's a very common mistake, is you have to convert everything. If you're converting from cylindrical to rectangular, you, in your final answer, you can have no r's and thetas. Z is fine because z, z is actually in both forms, cylindrical and rectangular. But if in your final answer, if you still have a, an r hanging around, it's not correct yet. So you have to convert everything to x's and y's um, if you're converting to rectangular form. So just make sure you convert everything all the way. So anyways, hopefully this will help you if you see this particular example somewhere in your class.